The year since Sheldon's passing has been so hard, a chasm in the countless lives that he touched in his time on earth, almost nine decades, which still seem unbearably short. For me, he was everything. Faithful husband, trusted companion, and intimate partner in romance, family, philanthropy, and business. Sheldon and I were soulmates, or to use God's term, when he created Eve for Adam in the Garden of Eden. Helpmates, two people who complete one another, two halves of a whole. Mayun was also a helpmate for a unique man, Eli Wiesel. This was more than a meeting of two hearts. It was a sacred mission. The horrors of Auschwitz and the trials of revisiting them in his immortal writing and speeches exacted a price from Ellie's soul. How fortunate he was to have Marion there to nurture and support him, to give him a family and the joy that he might not otherwise have experienced. There's the cliche that goes behind every successful man, there is a strong woman. In Ellie and Marion's case, it was true. Fate decreed that Ellie's success would stem from his tragic role as tribune of the Holocaust. Not for nothing did Sheldon, a man who knew a thing or two about success, described him as the most important Jew of our time. Sheldon admired Ellie's determination to hold humanity to account for what it had failed to prevent, to bear witness and speak out for our silenced six million martyrs. Ellie was a fighter for truth, for justice, for the people and the state of Israel. So was Sheldon. Eli preserved the past so that there might be a better future. Inspired by Eli's example, Sheldon built the future through a charitable empire and extraordinary political activism. And now those two great men are gone. But like their wives, their legacy live on. May we all choose life even as we remember those who have left us. May we feel each day with celebration even as we mourn those who are absent. And wherever we go, may we banish the darkness by bearing the torch of Jewish values that Ellie and Sheldon were so proud to hold high. Thank you again.